Hey guys, Mahesh here. I'm here with Beer Brand, and today we're talking about what it is to be a man. We're here again talking about different issues. Now, Beer Brand isn't just about the beard. As you realized on the YouTube channel now, we start to open dialogues and creating a community that are more open to discussing things that make us who we are, how we act and our place here on the old planet Earth. So let's talk about being a man. Some of you may or may not know that um, I run a men's group called All Us Men, which is uh, a representation of OM, which is the eternal sound, A-U-M. And I work in a barbershop, as you know, guys, and I'm there every day cutting hair, talking to a variety of age groups, people from different working and social backgrounds. And I found that it was really important that men found a space for themselves to feel comfortable. And it's really, really, really easy to just say I'm OK and everything's all right. It's really easy to lose yourself and not really realize what it is to be a man in society today. Because what's happened is the lines have blurred from the 70s and 60s and 50s. And please don't get me wrong, I'm not saying that women should be in the home and men should be at work. I'm saying that what's happened is culturally our definition of what makes us who we are and how we label ourselves has changed dramatically over the last 25, 30 years. And this is just a social restraint. This is just something that we've all been brought up to believe that men do this and women do that. There's a blue job and a pink job. And blue is for boy and pink is for girl. The lines are blurred now. And, you know, I'm talking from somebody who was born in the mid 70s. And, you know, your mum stayed at home. She cooked dinner, did the washing, looked after you, got you to school and your dad left the house if you saw him and he went off to work and he came back and he was tired. He ate his dinner. He may or may not have said goodnight to you and you went to bed. It was your role in society to be the strong one. You kept your emotions to the bare minimum. So can both male and female do the same job? Is that what's expected of us now as men? Is the social barriers been moved to allow us to negate, negate ourselves into a position where it's acceptable for us to show emotion and be open hearted? Or are we still seen as the one that should be doing the work and paying the bill and, well, you know, we're the ones that have the upper lip, stiff upper lip and pat you on the back and tell you to get on with it. I really believe now that it's time that we started to see ourselves not as male and female role models to our younger siblings, children and people in our community. But I believe that it's time that we started to just see ourselves as human beings. I think we have to look at ourselves now and go, well, I can be those things, but it doesn't matter what I've got in my knickers. I can be all those things. You know, I'm just a person. And do I have to keep defining myself as a man and go, well, this is what a man should do? Or do I have to go and think, this is what a decent human being should do? Because when you think about this, my wife and I have the same capacity for empathy. My wife and I have the same capacity for laughter and for love, for sharing and caring. We both have skin and bone and tissue. We both need to eat and drink to be alive. We both need shelter. We both have breast tissue and we both have a reproductive system. Just that mine's on the outside and hers on the inside of it. So when you break it down like that, you think to yourself, you know what, Mahesh? We're not that different. Yeah, my wife's energy, her very essence of who she is, has something different about her. 
to me. And I see her as her goddess power and I love her for that. And I see women as empowered as they should be. But there's nothing wrong with being an empowered man as well. If an empowered man means that you are connected to all your emotions, that you're happy within yourself to be caring, loving and strong, the same as a woman, women can be caring, loving and strong. But if you're thinking to yourself to be a man, I have to be macho in the sense that I have to have a fight every time I get drunk and I have to be stronger physically than everybody else around me. That doesn't make you macho, that just makes you a Neanderthal. The strongest men that I know, the most powerful men that I've ever met, that have had the biggest impact on my life, have been the most well-rounded, most connected people I've ever met. To be respected and regarded as a strong, powerful man these days, I really and truly believe that we need to look at ourselves as well-rounded humans. That the fact that we can grow beards, we have a slightly deeper voice, and we have to stand up to have a wee rather than sit down. That's just the external body, the shell that we've been given. Maybe we could consider that all emotions are just human. That we don't look at emotion as a feminine or a masculine thing. Maybe it's time that we started to do that. And maybe it's time that we started to treat each other like that as men and to open up to each other and say, it's okay to have emotions. It's okay to be gentle and kind with each other. I don't have to get drunk with you. I don't have to punch you on the arm. When you tell me you're not feeling okay, I don't take you to the pub, get you pissed and then you throw up. That's not gonna make you better. I take you to one side, we have a cup of tea, we relax, and I let you open up and listen to what you have to say. That's just being a good human being. So as men, it's time for us to stand and be counted. It's time for us to go, you know what? I respect my female counterpart because she's been playing out this role that I really need to be start to play for a very long time. And it's time that I started to learn from my female counterpart. And it's time that I started to tune into everything that was available to me. Maybe that way we'll be better for ourselves and we'll be better towards each other. And let's be honest, if we had more compassion and love in our life, maybe the world wouldn't be such a bad place. I'm Mahesh. This has been the Beer Brand. Take care of yourself and look after the others around you. Peace out. Beard Brand is a premium men's grooming company with products not only for your beard, but also your hair and body. Do yourself a favor and head over to beardbrand.com and take care of yourself. Or you can stick around and watch a few more of our awesome videos.